Thank you, buddy, for Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to hook up the wireless winch controls to the Jeep. In the last video, you saw that we installed the end cap winch controls from the 12 volt guy, and now we're going to add the wireless controls on top of that that you can order off eBay for about 10 bucks. And since the end cap winch controls are already wired, it's just a matter of hooking up four wires and we're done. So basically, this installation is going to take no longer than 10 minutes. And we're going to see if this is even worth it or not. Let's have a look at the instructions. Alright, looking at the instructions, it says remote range up to 50 feet, blah, 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 a whole bunch of bullshit. Actually, the wiring schematic is actually very clear uh, to hook up, so you shouldn't have any issues at all. The only thing I did was that on the uh, positive line right here, I put a smaller terminal to hook up to the ones inside the cab. So, and it gives you like a little troubleshooting chart, but let's quit the bullshit and let's go fucking hook this up and see if it works. So in case you haven't seen that video, that's where I have my in-cab winch controls right here from the 12 volt guy. Flick the switch on, you're ready to arm. So basically all we have to do is remove the two screws from the panel, pull it out, and then we're gonna be, this is gonna be done like five minutes. All right, I'm gonna explain to you what I did and why I did what I did. Okay, so this blue wire, this is the switch right here, the toggle switch. This blue wire coming in right here, this is hot at all times. So basically, this switch is not gonna be active until the switch is turned on. So I connected the 12 volt to the wireless onto that. So in order for the wireless to work, the switch has to be armed. And now on the button side, you got the power switch that comes to this side of the connector and then on the other side. And then these two wires, the um, green and red, activate your in and out on the winch. These wires are connected to that as well because if you had this wire on the other side of this button, that's going to be 12 volts at all times on this switch so if you went to go press the button you're just going to create a short so it has to be on this side so there's no 12 volt power on this side so when you activate the uh, remote control to go in or out the box is going to send a 12 volt current on this side and that's going to activate the winch I mean, if you want your wireless to be hooked up 12 volts all the time, you just hook up to a constant 12 volt source, but I don't want it to be on unless it's armed. So now I'm gonna put this dash piece back in and we're gonna see if this thing works. Well, let's arm it and see what happens. Now, of course, if you don't have the end cap winch controls hooked up, which most people most likely won't, it's going to be a lot harder to install and hook up. So, I'm going to include a short video on how I did it with the Smitty Belt winch and how I went about and I found out which wire was the in, which wire was the out kind of thing. Basically, you're only going to have two wires to screw with. So, when your cable comes into your winch housing, there's going to be three wires. Every winch could be different, but in theory, it should be three wires. One's going to be a live wire at all time, and two are going to be dead. And those two are going to be dead, are either going to be in or out. So it depends whichever selector you hit, it's going to give power to the other wire. So you got to figure out with the voltage meter which one's which, and then you'll be set. This was a very easy install for me. If you got the uh, 12 volt guys or any other person's in cab winch module, easy to hook it up done super nice so I'm pretty happy with this these are the remotes you get I like this one this keychain one's kind of shitty actually I should have read the back in and out because I did it backwards so I'm gonna leave the video at this if you have any other questions or comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching
All right, I got the cover exposed in the Smitty Built Winch, and all your <coughs> solenoids, I guess, would be inside here, unless that's one big solenoid. I don't know, but okay, on my digital meter here, I got some sunshine on. There's some glare. It's 12.17 DC volts. So from the winch control, there's only three wires. One's going to be a positive wire because once you give positive wire to that switch there, whichever way you move that selector switch either in and out is going to give power to either one of these other two wires which is going to move the switch. So now we got our in is either going to be green or blue so now I'm going to switch the selector and see. Okay let me pull this back out. So right back it out. It says I was reading 170 millivolts. Remember that millivolts. And then when I go in, I got 9.7 volts. So, the blue wire is the in. Yeah, blue wire is in and the green and yellow stripe is out.